Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And how are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Here's the daily crumb to help you along Whatever time of day of whatever time of day this is for you. <laughs> Welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Wingish Nibay Majeki Kwe. Your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman, also Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. Welcome. All you beautiful divine beings right here too. And how goes that with you? Yes, ah, uh, back to a morning. It's still a little later. Morning is like Almost 10 o'clock, I think. First day of school, I'm excited, so I'll see my children after school. I don't, as long as they went, give my hugs. I miss them. I miss them. I miss them so, so much. But, you know, those ones that wanted to hurt me, they sure knew how. And you know what? It's hurting me because it's hurting my children. They learned these survival behaviors and learned helplessness. And I don't want my children to feel bad for themselves because they followed adults. Adults that... Ow! Don't take responsibility for themselves, really? Right? Go out there and busy themselves in everybody else's lives and say that they can't get their stuff together because everybody else. If everybody else got their shit together, then they'd be able to focus on themselves, you know? God, please, I don't want to be a narcissist. Please help me to not be like that. Okay. Yeah. Do you hear the motor going out there? Engine going? I don't know. Let's dive in here. How goes that? How was your long weekend? Did you have a long weekend where you were? Uh, Labor Day? I did nothing. I saw I was in my pajamas and I didn't even do my daily crumb in the morning. I ended up, it was like after three when I did my daily crumb yesterday. So let's hop in. We're already three minutes in here. Okay. <sighs> daily crumb, just one for today. Loneliness. It's the poverty of self. Solitude is the richness of self. Today, be the friend to yourself that your whole, your heart most desires in another. Now, this come up pretty recently, too. Trick. Affirmation, inspiration, reflection. Okay, we didn't do it yesterday, but I like that. We'll start at the week because that's what's on top. That was what's on top. Loneliness is poverty of self. Solitude is the richness of self. May Sarton. Today, be the friend to yourself that your heart most desires in another, right? 21. We got to love ourselves and be a friend to ourselves. Because we're going to spend the most time with ourselves. The human being we spend the most time with is ourselves. Because we're going to be with ourselves from, from conception to death. Transition. Whatever that is, right? So reflection. The perfect man of old looked after himself before looking to help others. Take some time to be outside this evening. Breathe in fresh air and breathe out the stresses of the day. Watch the sunset or reflect on the vastness of the universe as you stargaze. Enjoy Mother Nature and all she has to offer. That is 51. That's a six. So you double that up. That's a six. Three and a six. Now, I don't know if these ones came out together. Of course, we've had every card in this deck. Yes, there's going to be repetition. You know what? Because that's how we got programmed, too. It was the repetitive of those not so great, helpful messages. Now we need to repeat the good messages. It's all self-care. Did these all come out together before, right? I separate them all, so it means something when they come together again. Set a meeting with yourself and keep it. Make it a priority. Treat that meeting like you would any other. Schedule it in every day, me time. Schedule the me time. Melissa's digging us. Set aside 10 minutes to write down five values 
that are important to you. Keep this list in your pocket as you go about your day. Five values that are important to you and being that friend to you that you need today. Three, six, that's a nine. Didn't that come up the other day with the nines? We had a three and a six. Um, loneliness is the poverty of self. That was the first one. So when you're alone, is it alone or is it solitude? Sometimes I'm feeling lonely. Sometimes I feel really alone. Sometimes I feel like it's solitude and I appreciate it. There was a time where it's like, oh, just need some time to myself to focus because I knew I was getting lost. I knew I was losing myself. So I was craving that time to myself, to find myself, to be who creator made me to be, not who others were saying that I was, right? That's how those messed with my mind too. Oh boy, did they ever. Mind frickers. Mind frickers. Oh my goodness. I know that relationship. I prayed and wished that he would just hit me because then it would be obvious, right? <laughs> it did. There was physical and other ways. I knew how to trigger my stuff and then still knows how to do that through the children and all that. It's it's worse. It's cruelty. It's the worst. It's the worst. It's so it's so cruel. It was the two cruelest people that I met and people that I love the most, you know? Put above myself many times. Anyways. And my children. That's another thing. I have to forgive myself for that because I gave into the adults. Or when I gave into my children and that did not serve my children. There we go. Okay, Builder, we're going to take the two totems right here because I saw the, the grouse, the sacred spiral, and the Builder. So this is what we're, we're, we're building on that, okay? Renewing on these new abilities and those seeds that we planted, right? We're releasing and letting go all of that we're not, and then we're building on the solid foundation of what we truly are, what we were made to be, and the highest vision that Source had for us, not our own limited vision. Right, and we're tapping in, we're doing those ritual of joys, we're seeing what we value, we're taking that time for ourselves, we're tapping in, we're doing that joy, right? Learning to play. What is that? We do a little every day. How is that for you? Hmm? How goes that for you? Two, two, three, four. That isn't that cool. We're taking those steps, taking those steps to be who we are. Two, three, four, taking no steps to be who we are. Yes, because we're all unique. We all belong here. No exceptions. We all deserve love. Right, right. And if we have that in ourselves, hey, there's going to be less going out and hurting others, right? When we see that we're full and divine ourselves, we're going to stop that desperately trying to get it out there, right? Because we already know that it's in there, right? We've camouflaged it. We've hidden our best parts. Why? Why, oh, why did we do that to ourselves? It's time to let those best parts out. Don't scrutinize them. Right? The void. Open up, tap in into the unlimited potential. That potential miracle. The miracle of you. Right? Go. Live your life. It's sacred. Treat it as such. All right? You're sacred beautiful divine beings love you all biggest heart hugs ever yes thank you for being you shine your light through and everything you do because you know what this world needs you to be you fully holy and true don't let that world miss out and all that's you I'm so glad you're here I'm so glad you choose to stay let's go make this another wonderful blessed day all right let's go 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 slow 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 mm -hmm. again love you all there you go there you go i got it